Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, Sister Ian is brother back in town. Ian, oh Ian. my god, you'd think after 27 videos we'd be over this by now. Ian is currently back in town for the summer. It's been a fiesta in the James Charles apartment with us together. And since we're currently on a little hiatus from brother and sister, I definitely wanted to film something with Ian because I know you guys all miss him a lot. Yesterday, I was getting ready for an event and I walked into my closet and I didn't know what I wanted to wear. And Ian was helping me go through things and he was critiquing a lot of my wardrobe. And Ian definitely has a huge interest in fashion. It's a little bit different than your interests. A little bit different, yes. But he definitely does like fashion a lot. Ian's outfits, in my opinion, are scary. It's the same thing for you, though. Yes. Ian never texts these Instagram pictures before posting them, and every time he does, I always look at them and I'm like, wow, that outfit is literally the worst. Since we clearly have very different fashion senses, I thought it would be such a fun video to do if Ian and I tried to buy each other outfits. Like James did say, we definitely do have different styles of clothing that we like to wear, but growing up together, I feel like we both have a good sense of what we like, so I feel like this challenge might be easy. Okay, I feel like every time I see you're in a very, very new style, you change like, your interests and clothes a lot, whereas I feel like my style has been pretty similar for the past few years, so I think like if anything, you might have this easier than me. I mean, we'll see. You like to wear like $1,000 black sweatshirts because they say Balenciaga on the back. Well. I look good in those, so. So basically, to do this challenge today, we're all gonna head over to the mall, and I'm gonna shop with my best friend, Drew, and Ian's gonna take my videographer, Kelly, and we're going to sister shop for each other in secret, and we're gonna avoid each other at all costs, not show each other what we're getting, and we have to put together a full-on look. So head to toe, whatever it takes to put together like a full Instagram-ready look. With what price range? Ooh, good question. Okay, I feel like we actually maybe should do no budget for this. Let's just do no price range. Let's I'm scared of that. I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm buying you. I'm buying you an outfit. So. Well, yeah, but if it's ugly, what am I gonna do with that? Return it. Well, well. Yes. I guess you got me there. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll do no price range, but please don't go crazy on my credit card. I got you. Do you? Yep. Okay. All right. I guess. Um, this is yours. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Let's go sister shopping. All right guys, we just got to the mall and I'm ready to pick out Sister Ian's outfits. I definitely feel like I have a lot of work to do today. His style is very much um, bad, if you will. <laughs> so I definitely wanna get him like a full, like kind of just good, cohesive look. And I know he said earlier that he wants a ring. So I'm gonna try to be a good older sister and get him a cute ring to make him super, super happy and hopefully he'll love the outfit that we come up with. All right guys, right now we're in Nordstrom and I'm hopefully gonna find James a full outfit. So pants, shirt or sweatshirt, shoes, accessories, everything. Lots of good and fresh graphic t-shirts that are probably all really ugly for you. We should get him a Love Wins t-shirt. <laughs> 320 for a white sweatshirt, moving on. I think I need that. To be shopping for yourself. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so good and fresh. I'm about to be wearing this as a dress. Hello, I think I need this right now. Okay, I'll be purchasing this for myself. Sorry, Ian. Oh, indeed, that's perfect. What doesn't he have, though? Should we look in the woman's? Because I'm not seeing anything over here. Honestly, let's give it a try. Right. Okay, I just found this jacket from Champion. Ian wears a lot of Champion, and he also wears a lot of jackets like this. This could be a really good and fresh piece for him. Well, do you feel like James would like this? Oh my god, you know what? I Those kind of remind might. me of that's... like a mix of Balenciaga with the Pumas. That's what I'm saying. But they're also 770. Ooh. They're something different. But also kind of expensive. They're going for us $345. All right, we got these. These are 700. So James with his ad sense, he can afford these pretty easily. So these might be an option. This is a good jacket. This is a me pant. Am I shopping for myself or am I shopping for Kia? All right, so in Nordstrom, we didn't really find anything besides the shoes. Everything was kind of overpriced. There was nothing that really fit James's style. We put the Valentinos on hold, but I'm kind of scared to spend 700 but we're going to keep on looking. This is a really good jacket. Okay, so we're in Rag and Bone, and I know Ethan and Grayson really like Rag and Bone pants, and that's the only straight boys that I really know in my life, so that could be a good option for you. This is definitely James, but... For $850, and there's no matching pants. Might not be a good idea. These are kind of like the ones that Ian was wearing today, and they match the champion jacket literally perfectly. Hello. Do we need these for him? All right, I feel like this jacket just says James. It's only $590, so with those AdSense, bam, easy. And it's black, so it's gonna match with anything. I need to get him like a not graphic shirt for once. Like, I need to just get him like a cute relatively simple plain shirt that doesn't have the ugliest design on it ever. He doesn't have any of those. 
Alright, so we decided to get the Burberry jacket. It was $6.46 and some change after tax. Hopefully he's gonna like it. It's gonna match everything, so let's keep on going. James, are you excited about your sister purchases? I really am. I love like a big brown bag. Okay guys, so we successfully bought a pair of shoes and a jacket for Anne and a jacket for me. Our total came to $326. This is proving to be very expensive very quickly and we only have two items down, so let's get the rest. All right, we're gonna scratch the whole Valentino shoe and I think we're gonna go with these because James is a true Adidas sister, Adidas sponsor. There we go. This is 100% something you want to buy, right? Yeah. We need to not give him that. That is the ugliest shirt I've ever seen in my entire life. I really like the shirt that says Blind Faye. I think it's really cute and can match really well with Ian's outfit, but he is notorious for wearing oversized shirts and he's already very, very tall and skinny. So I don't want to make him look like any more of a string bean than he already is. And the shirt is very long. So I'm going to hold this. This could be a contender, but we're going to keep sister shopping. I think I definitely want to get Ian a skinny jean to combat like the bagginess of the top that he's going to wear. And I feel like he doesn't really have that many pairs of skinny jeans. His pants are usually like just straight fit pants that are cropped way too high. So his ankles always look weird. One of my biggest pet peeves with the outfits, if I'm being completely honest. So I just found these like charcoal jeans that I think could actually look really good. And they're definitely not something that he has, so I'm gonna look for his size. And we're gonna grab these pants, even though James already has 15 pairs of them, but new pair can't hurt, can it? We're actually done getting his entire outfit, so that's really great. We're clearly professional shoppers, but since me and Drew are done so early, we're gonna go get sister ice cream, a sister snack, um, while Ian finishes up because he sucks. some cap and stuff because I know James has a couple items already so we're gonna find something he doesn't already have. Alright we have a white cap and tee here I feel like it would match a little bit with the shoes and pants and jacket so might have to get this. Ian is still shopping so I decided to peace out for a few minutes and take a little bit of a detour um, to get Ian a little sister surprise so. We just got done with Bloomingdale's we got some Dior glasses and a cap and t-shirt James and Drew said they were done with their whole outfit, but they said they'll be back in 30 minutes, so I'm quite curious to see where they are. 62. This is so big. Oh, 62, nine and three quarters, three quarters, 63. My little brother's uh, definitely more of a man than I am, that's for uh -huh. sure. <laughs> so 63 is this one, actually. It wouldn't fit me. That's so beefy. Yeah, it is, right? So. How much is this one? 30, 37.50. A good and fresh three thousand seven hundred forty dollars. Should we just do it? Yeah, it's kind of fun. <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> we could be twinning, sister siblings for real. We can need a little cardigan. <laughs> That's what I get from this video. <laughs> That's all I'm paying you today is a mint from Cartier. So chic. I love that when you buy a four thousand dollar ring, you get a free cookie. Yeah. Live in large over here. Oh, kind of good actually. It better be good for four thousand. Kind of worth it. <laughs> Coming back for more later. A good and fresh. $4,106.26. We're back. I'm scared. <laughs> so am I. I'm actually very scared. I mean, who should go first? I'll show you yours first. You think? Yeah. Are you that confident? I'm very confident. Okay, I love that. Let's do it. All right, so we're going to do like bottom up like shoes to the very top. I guess so. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Wait, is that the lyrics or is it bottles up? It's bottles up, not bottoms. There, we got a sister shoe. Wait, do I open them though? Yeah. <gasps> oh, these are good and fresh! Yeah, no. Ian? Yeah, no. <gasps> tea. Oh, really love those. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? There you go, bud. It's your 15th pair of Adidas joggers. <laughs> okay, true. Do need always more. Can't go wrong with a brand new pair. Perfect. We love this a good pair. Pants were the hardest part. Really? Yeah. Cause well, we, I love these. So I, couldn't, I couldn't find pants that okay. like, ooh. So I just had to get those. <laughs> they were like, ooh. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Love a good cap of shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ian, these are good so far. I told you. Okay, wow. That's pretty good and fresh. The next two items are like the whoo. I'm scared. The whoo. Close your eyes. They are closed. Ready? Yeah, open your eyes. <gasps> Ooh. This is good. Yeah, it's Burberry. It's a Burberry jacket? Yeah. <gasps> Sister. I told you I went all. Wait, how much did this cost? Don't worry about it. Wow, Eli, I actually love this. You actually okay, like that too? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Close your eyes. Okay. This is the masterpiece. Keep okay. them close. Keep they them are close. close, Ian. No, keep them close for a while. Open your eyes. <gasps> Ian! You're literally kidding me. Me and Drew walked by these in the store and we're like, we need those right now. Sister! These are so good! One for 
professional. Oh you. my god! Wait, Ian, you literally did the best song ever. I told you this! <laughs> oh my god. Did I go oh. off or did I not go off? You kind of went off, not gonna lie. How much did you spend total? 1.5. You spent 1,500. The glasses were 700 and something, dude. Are you ready to see yours? I'm kind of scared. I think this will be good. I hope you like it. You have the weirdest clothing taste ever. Okay, you ready? No, I'm scared. Well, but first I got this Adidas jacket, which is mine, so. <laughs> Wow, I love that for yourself. <laughs> but, but you know, over there. Okay, first we'll start off with the sister's shoes. Ready? Put them in my hands. I'm scared. Oh, put them in my hands. <laughs> okay, ready? No, put them in my hands. Okay, I want you to know that I put together this full cohesive outfit too, so everything will match. I'm scared now. <laughs> it's not like bad match, it's just like. <laughs> put them in my hands. <laughs> okay, ready? You can open your eyes. Okay, okay. I feel like they're a pretty similar side to the shoe you have on now. They match with the full outfit. Okay, okay. And I think they're pretty cute. Do you like? I it's like, like gray, red, and blue, so you can match with most outfits. Okay, pretty good. So we got gray, red, and blue outfit, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. Do you like them? Yeah. Really? Bad. They're not bad. Do yeah. you promise? Yeah, they're not bad. Okay, cool. <laughs> Love that. I feel like when I was looking at your pieces, I really wanted to make sure a lot of the things like went together because I feel like one of the main issues you have with your outfits is that they never match. There's always like a few really good elements, but then there's always like that one thing that you add that's never right. Ever. It's mean. like not mean, you just have a mean. No, you just have mean. questionable taste. Okay, okay, I can Okay, that. ready? I have no idea what pants you got for those shoes. Now I'm actually really scared. Why? Because this is a, only okay. a very few amount of pair of pants that go well with those shoes. That's not true. It's very true. Oh I actually didn't really think about uh oh, I didn't really think about these pants matching those shoes. Well the rest go together really nicely. We'll be fine. That's good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I like these. Okay, good. I got you a good pair of dark skinny jeans. They're not fully black because I feel like you have a lot of black pants already and they're like a nice wash and I also feel like you don't really have that many pairs of skinny jeans. Okay. I notice a lot of the pants that you wear are kind of straight fit and you cop them at the ankle and it doesn't look good. I like these, yeah. Okay, wow, two for two so far. I'm scared what they're gonna look like with the shoes though. Yeah. Bulky shoes and skinny jeans might not be a, might not be a move. Yeah, I will admit, I didn't really think about that yeah, together, but I think we should be fine. Next item is your shirt. Rude! Next, I got you this shirt. I thought it was really cute. I feel like you have a lot of like graphic tees, so I wanted to do something that was like simple, but had like some sort of element to it, so like you would actually want to wear it. Yeah, I like this. Cool. I feel like it is a little bit long. We might have to crop it depending on how it looks with the outfit. I do not, not like not crop, but like just like cut like two inches off. Not like a crop top. Although that could be good in front that's too. Not crop my shirt ever. You pick a lot of items that make you look like a string bean. Like you're already very tall and lanky, and you wear shirts that are like eight inches too long, and pants that are straight, and no jacket, and like long shoes. So you just look like you're like 87 feet tall. Not I am the best look. Feet you're not, sweetie. I need to break it to you. <laughs> Ready? Close. I'm ah. I guess lastly, we have it's this. Really, it's the last one. I don't know. You said lastly, Shh. that one. Okay, we found this one first, and I actually think you're really gonna like this one. Oh, yeah. I was looking at this in the store. Woo! I love that. Yeah, I do like this. Isn't that so good? Yeah. I, like I almost bought another one for myself. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. I think you'll look so good in that. Yeah. It's a large, so it still gives you like that oversized shape with the bigger t shirt. But then we got you the really skinny jeans to kind of like taper the body, give you a little sister shape instead of being a sister string bean. What he said. Yeah. Yeah, I do like this. I'm excited. Should we go put them on? I think we should. Okay, let's do it, sister. I can't pull them. What? Pull them up more. They're skinny jeans. Well, you're saying those are too small. Meanwhile, I can fit another well, Those are a medium. I can fit an extra sister in here. These shoes are so good. <gasps> this kind of is a good look. Uh, the pants are a little big. I, I don't know. Yeah, they really are a little big. Roll them. What are you doing? That's how you do, that's what you do when your pants are too big, dude. That looks stupid. You can't see it. Well, now I use you. This is so good. Oh my God, we're the best at this ever. Hello. That was the gayest hello I ever, ever let out in my entire life. Hello. This is a good look. It's 100 degrees in my apartment and you just gave me a winter jacket. You gave me a winter jacket as well. It'd be kind of killed that. Yeah, I told you. How do you like your look? Pants, a little tight, I would say that. I'm not used to pants like that, but everything else. You got a sister shucks them out. I'm just not used to skinny jeans. I actually really love how this look looks on you. I think even though the skinny jeans are a little bit uncomfortable, they do look really good. It definitely did exactly what I wanted it to do, of giving you kind of like the larger oversized portion on the top, but the skinnier portion on the bottom, so everything looks a lot more cohesive and not as string bean like I do have one last thing to add to this outfit. Close my eyes again. Yeah, probably. Oh, 
this. Oh god. What did you do? <laughs> I'm so scared. Probably made a really bad impulsive purchase. I just wanted to really complete the outfit, give it a full Sister James look. It's beautiful. Does it fit? Mm -hmm. Wow. Love you. <laughs> You're welcome. Wait, 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 wait. How much did this cost? The full outfit? Yeah. $4,750. Okay. Pretty fun though, right? I mean, I spent 1.5. So that means we literally spent over $6,000 on this challenge today. <sighs> that no budget thing really made it not a challenge. I guess you got me there, yeah. <laughs> sister shopping spree in this video today. I actually had so much fun doing this. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit worried in the beginning because, like I said, Ian's style is ever-changing, but I was very much looking forward to putting you in something much cuter than the average sister Ian outfit, and I'm very proud of how this turned out, and I'm glad you really like it. I think James's style is very hard to find in store. I feel like he orders everything online, so... That is actually really true. Finding clothes that you would just buy, like, looking at was kind of difficult, mm -hmm. but I think I did a pretty good job. You really that. did. This outfit is so good. I will definitely be wearing this in an OOTD probably soon on Instagram. If you guys enjoyed this video today with me and Sister Ian, we had so much fun doing this. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your support. It really means so, so, so much to Speaking us. Speaking of support, I really hope you guys didn't skip that at the beginning of the video because after this challenge, we need that money. <laughs> If you have not already as well, don't forget to click that big red subscribe button down below and come join the sisterhood. We just hit six million sisters. Oh my god, literally like, hello, what has even going on? My mind is blown every single day. I feel like the sisterhood is growing so, so, so fast. You all mean so much to me and I promise you when I say there are a lot of really, really amazing things in the works that you guys are going to be so sister shook over. So thank you guys as always for all your love and support. I know I say it in every single video, but truly like I am so thankful to be doing this job. I am so grateful for all you guys. I know Ian is as well. So thank you. Love you. Click the subscribe button and also click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I or we upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They're both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles and the next ask after Charles. Going to follow me on my brother journey. <laughs> All my social medias are enjd12. This video is sister shout out goes to sister Emma. Thank you so much for your boys following this morning. I love you literally so, so, so much. And if you like to be the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter. All right, sister, thank you so much for watching. We love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.